Okay, we're at the section five, getting started with the uh, Sage Tech. Really what you're going to be doing though is going to be downloading two files. All right, so you're going to download the source file. Let me do that now. That's this file over here. And again, you're going to download it. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on the download button. And it just download it to my computer and it'll let open up. Actually, I may not open it up, but I'll have to go open it. Let me see what happens. All right, let me find out where it is. I'll click this over here. Yeah, I see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. All right, so I'm going to say new folder. I'm going to go to my finder menu. And I'm just going to call it a test. Uh, let me call it sage test. And I'm going to drag this file into that folder. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. Um, the main reason I'm doing it is, is there's going to be a lot of files generated. And I want it all in the folder, so I'll just delete it later. All right. Let me just um, go back to the document. And I got the, the source file. Now I'm going to download the PDF image file. There's two files to download. Now I want to download that. All right, that did open up that time. Let me close it out. And let me go find it in the finder. And I'm going to drag that into the Sage test folder. All right. So now I have these two folders in the Sage test folder. I'm going to double click on the Sage text, text, text shopped video. Wow, that's a lot of words there, isn't it? I'm confusing, isn't it? Anyway, let's double click. And uh, I'm going to now just expand the window, and I'm going to typeset it. Actually, I don't want to expand it too much. Let me just uh, pull it over here. Okay, I'm going to typeset it. Running Sage, please wait a moment. It's generating a bunch of pictures now. I'm going to switch over to the finder. Remember when I did this folder, what happened is I only had two files in it, the, the P3D PDF and the source file, this one over here. Now Sage and uh, TechShop has now created a bunch of other files, including a folder full of images now. All right. So what I did was just recreate the document. All right. Now granted, errors happen. Maybe it's not working perfectly for you. But you should generate a you know a copy of exactly what I've given you, all right? With the exception if I'm using a random number generator, it's not going to give you the same number, all right? And that's about it. So let me close this out for you. And uh, again, I'm going to close this out. I'll close this out. And let me go back to my finder. And let me go back. And I'm going to get rid of the Sage Test folder. I don't need that anymore. And of course, you're going to keep that for one reason and one reason only. You need to study. Let me review that. For you. You need to study the source file. You need to study this source file here. See it's a relationship between what the output is and what the source file is telling you the output should be. All right. All right. Let me go back to the document. We're over here. And that's confusing. This is my document, the stuff we just compiled. We, we just made a new document for you. Let me review for you. You're going to click on this link over here, download the source file. You're going to click on this link over here and download the PDF. So there's two files to download, source file and PDF. I say put them in one folder, open up, open them up. They should open up in, uh, the tech file should open up in uh, TechShop. And when you compile it, you should get a verbatim copy of what you're looking at here, all right, with the sole exception of the random numbers. Then what do you do? You're going to start to study. What do you study? Study what you're seeing in the PDF and what you're seeing in the source file. And you got to make sense out of it. And that's the tough part, right? This is, this is a learning curve. It's going to take time. It took me time and effort. It's going to take you time and effort. Uh, you may want to start with smaller files, uh, smaller examples, uh, changing code, whatever works for you. But you got to get through it, all right? And again, you'll eventually get to the end of it. I do want to point out there's a line of code towards the end. 
this over here. I, I kind of leave this in, and the reason I leave it in is, you know, sometimes an error, I don't know where the error happens. If this runs smoothly, like for example, uh, let me put down, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked on the wrong thing. But I click on this and I put down, I don't know, two to the 10, and I run the code again, I should see a change. Yeah, it takes time to get through. It's recomputing all the Sage code now. Please wait. It's recomputing everything. Now, if it, if it doesn't compute that, there's something wrong with my code. Oh, by the way, there still, there still could be something's wrong with my code, but I feel pretty confident now that it got to the end and was able to compute that and put the proper output out. All right? So again, you're on your own now. What does that mean? You're looking over the document. You have the complete source code to the document and all the output for it. And hopefully you've been able to follow through the tutorial and the setting it up and getting things ready and you're able to move forward on your own. This is just an introduction. Again, it's a vast universe out there. You just stepped into it. All right? Try to make the best of it. Thank you so much for paying attention. I really do appreciate it.